Okay, YouTubers, I uh, got out the actuator, analog brake system, uh, actuator and electronic control module for my 2005 Nissan Maxima SE. Um, you can see kind of there the uh, part number and serial number for the unit. Uh, the electronic portion of the unit, it's held on by four uh, T20 uh, Torx head bolts. So we remove those. And that allows us to kind of work it a little bit. And uh, you take off the coils here from the valve housings. There's, be careful, there's a uh, ground spring clip right here in the middle that doesn't go flying off. Then I had to, uh, this piece is pretty much glued on here. I ended up working it with a uh, utility knife, getting in here and uh, slowly cutting it and working it and I got it to pop, pop up. Uh, I'll end up probably gluing it back together with a silicon adhesive. So I can work on it in the future if necessary. That'll be more than enough to hold that cover. Uh, and then when you come in here, what you're looking for, especially on these coils, is you're looking for any fractured solder joints. Uh, if you see any cracks, you need to look closely with a magnifying glass. Uh, if it looks dry, um, also over here on this relay, there's a relay here and a capacitor. Capacitors are always suspect for failing. Same with relays. But make sure you uh, go over and re... What I'm going to do is clean up this board with some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and then I'm going to re-solder, hit all these jo critical joints again on the board, reflow the solder, and make sure it's a smooth solder connection. And then uh, once we do that, reassemble and uh, we'll give it a try back in the car and see if hopefully that'll correct our problem. Save us from having to spend a thousand dollars on a new uh, ABS actuator and electronic control module.